this contest is scheduled for one fall. One fall! Introducing first, from Tokyo, Japan, weighing in at 181 pounds, Kyusuke Okuda! Okuda making the trip all the way from Japan here. Highly thought of uh, grappler, got great striking ability, and he's gonna be here in the Don Koloff Arena in our semi-main event. I've been watching him train for the last two weeks, and he's an animal in grappling. Muay Thai, now transitioning to professional wrestling, he's gonna be a very dangerous man to be against. Boy, I'll tell you what, I hate to agree with you, especially so early in you joining the broadcast, but I watched him working over some of the bags backstage, and what unbelievable technique and power he has. I believe he's a very highly decorated college wrestler in Japan as well. And his opponent, from Balm Beach, Ontario, weighing in at 186 pounds, D-Man Daniel Parker! From Balm Beach, Ontario, here he comes, the beach boy, D-Man Parker. Well, Kuda's certainly going to have his hands full here as he steps into the ring with Parker, the D-man here. I don't know, got some flashy gear. We'll see if his moves hold up to it. I'm calling gimmick infringement on all the Maple Leafs. That's kind of my deal, but Okuda may be going to teach him a lesson about that. Wow, he didn't like the fact that he got in his face. Uh, you know, it's, I begrudgingly say this about you, Corelli. You've got a background in mixed martial arts. You're a decorated professional wrestler. You know, I don't know what D-Man's doing, walking up and getting right in somebody's face. Okuda should have punched him right in the mouth. D-Man's been training pretty hard, and pound for pound, he's actually a very good grappler. He just needs to put on a few pounds to fight the, with the big dogs. Yeah, we've got cruiserweight action here, and as you pointed out, D-Man a little bit on the lanky side, but has that uh, tendon strength, as they say. Okuda, Okuda a, little, a little thicker, a little stockier. Both of them got great techniques, so we should be in for a good one. What you're seeing here is a classic demonstration of the battle arts style that I fell in love with in Japan. And you got both men here, they're kind of in that feeling out process. I mean, when you're in there and you've got these guys that have such a such a good amateur background, got a mixed martial arts background, you don't just see the regular collar elbow tie-ups, you see the different ways that they engage each other, the multiple techniques there. Beautiful knee bar by Okuda here early. Very smooth transition. Okuda not letting go there. Trying to put on some pressure after it. Oh! Cannot touch an official. Boy, I'm very, I'm very surprised that Nick Wiley here didn't call for the disqualification because I know that's something that's usually not, in any way, shape, or form, tolerated here. It's just a bad investment, you know. He's now he's going to be, a, you know, obviously have something against you the whole match now. Well, I mean, I know something about having the officials against you because I've had the deck stacked against me here in Destiny at the Don Koloff Arena many, many times because of Iceman's uh, shady dealings, because of you sticking your nose in where it doesn't belong, and I hope that Okita doesn't fall uh, victim to the same type of biasness. Come on! Come on! He put the submission on this time, dragged him in the middle of the ring. We're playing a little bit of a chess game here when it comes to leg locks, ankle locks. Oh, D-Man reversed it. Forced him to get the ropes. Yeah, D-Man able to sink in a nice uh, ankle lock there. And uh, Okuda's got to be careful here because... Uh, has Okuda or Okuda? Okuda. Okuda. Okuda Matana. <laughs> D-Man has been training with Mr. Ishikawa for over, uh, over three years now. That's why you see his grapplers. Well, I mean, as I as I explained earlier in the in the broadcast, uh, Ishikawa san uh, like a, a hugely respected, wildly respected man, not just in professional wrestling, but in mis mixed martial arts all around the world. And anyone that's been training with him has to have great techniques. Yeah, that's really his gimmick, you know, is that his his technique and, and attention to detail is second to none. Great, great grappling display here by both men. Seeing a combination of strike. Oh, going there for the cross arm breaker. 
Okuda able to keep his hands locked and then roll it up and get a two count on D-Man. Now, Corelli, let me ask you, Okuda here, is he out? Yeah, I hear that he's out of the uh, Anoki Dojo in uh, Tokyo. Yeah, trains from with IJF, and they sent him here to train with Mr. Ishikawa because of his, you know, his well-respected. Oh, wow. look at those kicks. Wow. Oh, he's got the rear naked choke on D-Man there. He's got him at D-Man making the ropes. He, was, he knew he couldn't get out. He looked for the ropes immediately, knowing that that was going to be his only way yeah, to get out. Yeah, and Okuda doing the smart thing and holding on for the full four count there after D-Man got the ropes, taking full advantage of the latitude. Every submission now is held on a little extra. And for those of our fans that don't know, the, uh, the Anoki Dojo in uh, IGF there is uh, founded and operated by Antonio Anoki, who's just about the most famous wrestler potentially in the history of Japanese wrestling. Oh, here they go back and forth. We're going to see who, who has the tougher jaw. God, those are right on the jaw. Wow, look at them ex exchanging those big forearms back and forth. Thunderous kick to the sternum. Boy, the quickness and the snap combined with the power of these kicks from uh, Ukita sure do seem to be wearing down uh, D-Man. D-Man is in trouble. Ooh. Boy, you can just you can just hear that snap on those kicks. He has uh, sustained some serious damage. Okuda here, you know, he, he's displayed some great grappling. Now he's really showing the force that he can put into those kicks, and he's striking from all kinds of different angles. You know when your cable goes out and you get that staticky thing? That's what D-Man's seeing right now with these kicks. Oh, snap Rana and a roll through to a pin. D-Man gets a two count. Wonderful. Hurricane, hurricane on the floor. Kick. And notice Okuda there doesn't just graze him with the drop kick. He drives way through him and drives D-Man into the corner. A big Yakuza kick there. This match is turning out to be everything I hoped it would be. It's awesome. Now Okuda showing he's just as deadly with his fists as he is with his feet. <laughs> and his knees. Damn. <laughs> that was impactful. His... Shin right into his chest. You know, what an unbelievable display here of an array of skills as Okuda goes there for the pin. Almost gets it on D-Man. You know, I like, I myself, much like you have, Corelli, I've worked with a lot of uh, Japanese talent training in the dojo. Kushida is a top star in New Japan. Akira Laijin, uh, Masayuki Kono, uh, Soya, all these guys, world champions in Japan. And certainly Okuda here is displaying a great uh, traditional Japanese skills here. Yeah, he's definitely representing that style very well. Uh, D-Man stealing a play out of uh, Maple Leaf Muscle, P.D. Williams' book there, doing the uh, tornado twist around into the Russian leg sweep, and he's got Okuda down, and this is really maybe D-Man's chance to mount some offense. This is it. Hopefully momentum has shifted in his favor. He can get up and capitalize. I mean, these guys put it all on the line. Uh, re really, really seldom right and wrong again, Crelly. I really hope he doesn't take advantage because I want to see Okuda here take control. I'd like to see him kick D-Man's head right off. Oh! Oh, uh, we the bridge. Excellent. Oh, my. That was close. Man, great German suplex. Gets a two count. Now he's going in the cross arm breaker. Floating over. What's he got here? Flipping through. Nice. Oh, he's got the cross face with the hammer locked arm. Okuda's in trouble here if he doesn't make the ropes. He's close, but he's not quite there, but he gets there. Oh, what determination. He didn't stop. He just, he was in trouble. He knew where the ropes were and he got there. That's got to be demoralizing, no pun intended, for D Man there to sink that kind of move in. A move that I thought Okuda might have been trapped in and uh, still may be able to make the ropes. It's got to be frustrating. Proud of the Don Koloff Arena. Uh oh, Doing their appreciation. Yeah, and Okuda with the rear naked choke here. He's got him sets a little oh. kick right there to the neck. Running kick to the chest. And D-Man is still able to kick out. What great fighting spirit, as they call it in Japan, displayed by D-Man. Oh! 
Oh, side salto suplex by Okuda. Lord of mercy. Boy, notice how Okuda there hooked, hooked the key lock there, and when D-Man uh, was able to kick out, flipped it right over into an arm bar. Look at this, submissions back and forth. He was waiting for Oh, we got a knee oh, bar from Okuda. And that's it. I didn't see that coming. Ladies I thought and gentlemen, you your winner that. is the result of the submission. Kiyosuke Okuda. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm going to have to apologize to Okuda. I think I butchered his name a half a dozen times during that match, but it's because I was so excited, couldn't keep up with the action between him and D-Man. Back and forth, I tip my hat to D-Man, not really a fan of his in some ways, but he went out there, showed fighting spirits, showed some great techniques. But our visitor from the, uh, from the land of the rising sun, Okuda, victorious here. Beautiful knee bar. Yeah, I'm feeling a little bit like a proud papa here, seeing D-Man perform at that level. And having his game raised by this young Japanese superstar. Yeah, and there we see a handshake there, a show of sportsmanship. Okuda showing that D-Man has earned his respect here. And I gotta say, I'm sure that Anoki and everybody there at uh, at IGF, very happy here that Okuda's here at Battle Arts Academy and uh, training under Ishikawa. And and begrudgingly, I say, uh, how about a round of applause for both competitors, ladies and gentlemen?